Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. In today's video, we've got something really special for you. We're gonna give you an in-depth review of the Baja Bandit by Pride Mobility. All right, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed those epic action shots. Now, we're gonna go into the nitty gritty about this product. It's a brand new model, just released in August of 2023. But like always, I need to tell you a few quick things. Number one, if you want a copy of our product catalog, it's free, you can learn all about our products. Just visit our website, www.mobilitydirect.com. Click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out the simple short form that you see on the screen now and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. I also want to say that if you stay tuned to the end of this video, we're going to give you an opportunity to win a brand new Baja Raptor 2 four wheel. Once we hit 50,000 subscribers, we're going to announce the winner and stay tuned to the end of this video so that you can learn how to join that giveaway. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. I'm going to tell you, first of all, what makes the Baja Bandit special. Number one, it looks awesome. It's my favorite looking scooter that can be used for travel purposes. You can obviously get the Baja Wrangler or the Baja Raptor, which also look amazing. They look like electric ATVs, but this is unique because it's got that aggressive look, really off-road friendly tires, an LED light kit that's like almost like a light bar that you would see on a pickup truck for nighttime to really illuminate the path in front of you. One of the brightest headlights I've ever seen. So it can go off road, you can use it in the nighttime. It has the best, I'm not just exaggerating. Look at the suspension, I'm gonna stand on the deck here. That suspension is from independent coils. And if you come close and look under the seat, I'm gonna bounce up and down on the seat. You've got a suspension style seat post. So you've got different suspension mechanisms that give it the smoothest ride possible when going off-road. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get lower back pains, I've had three knee surgeries, and having that extra smooth comfort ride factor with all that suspension going on really means a world of difference, especially when going on uneven sidewalks with big cracks, big bumps, speed bumps, you name it. It can handle going up little curbs, no problem, that are two inches, not, not like a, a curb on a parking lot, but you know, two inch curb, no problem. It can go up and down them. The tires are split rim and wheel, so you don't have to buy the entire rim and tire when you need to get new tires. You just buy the tire and take the old one on, put it on the rim. And that is one of the unique features about this model. It also has a complete bumper guard kit on the back, the sides, and the front to protect your unit in case you, you know, rub up against something or back into something, crash into something. Not only that, so Pride Mobility has really been listening to the feedback of its dealers and customers. A lot of customers have mobility issues. These are mobility scooters. And bending down to adjust the tilting angle of the tiller assembly has been a complaint. And now guess what? You can just use your foot push that lever right there with your foot, and now I can just adjust the tilting angle without having to bend down. Not only does the tiller fold forward back, you can slide the seat forward and back with this lever, so it's depth adjustable. And on the right side, there's another lever which you can use to rotate the seat 360 degrees. So if you wanna pull up to a table backwards so you don't have the tiller 
in the way of the dining table. You can rotate 360 degrees and face the dinner table without the handlebar in front of you um, so it's completely out of the way. And you can pull up to a dinner table, rotate your seat, and eat your meal without anything in front of you. So there's tons of comfort adjustment features. You've got flip-up armrests. The armrests aren't just able to flip up. They're able to be height adjustable. You can adjust the width of each armrest to create more space between each armrest. Just loosen up those hand screws, pull out the quick release pins, and bring out the armrest. You're going to have a wider space between each of the armrests. I also want to show you the seat. This seat is a brand new seat. No other model has this seat. It is super comfortable. It's got a really nice feel to the where the part where you sit down and on the backrest. It's got nice two-tone stitching on it. You can get an 18-inch wide seat standard or a 20-inch wide seat if you want to upgrade. Now, something else that makes it unique is the fact that it can go up to 8 miles per hour. It's very similar to the Revo 2.0, which is going to be more of a medical-grade Class 2 medical device scooter. But that one caps out at about 5 miles per hour. This goes 8 miles per hour, and it can hold 400 pounds. It does break down. And the heaviest piece is going to weigh about just over 70 pounds, but for a 400 pound weight capacity scooter, that's not bad. We're going to show you how to take it apart in just a moment, but first I'm going to run through the specifications. You can go to our website with the link in the description below, or just click right there to see our product page, which has tons of information, pictures, videos, specifications, you name it. So again, 400 pound weight capacity. The model number, by the way, is BA140. Top speed of eight miles per hour. Ground clearance is 4.45 inches at the mid deck. Turning radius, 53 inches. And the dimensions are 49.6 inches long. And the width is 27.83 inches. The seat to deck height, which is from here to here, is going to be 18.11 inches. Keep that in mind. Uh, it does have 9-inch solid front and rear tires, so you don't have to worry about inflating them with air, getting flat tires from nails or anything that you run over that might puncture the tires. Maintenance free. Again, full suspension. Now the range, depending on which battery option you go with, the standard battery pack is going to give you up to 14.5 miles. That's a 20 amp hour lithium battery pack. It is removable. You can charge the battery pack when it's disconnected from the scooter or with the charging port up high while it's connected to the scooter, and we'll show you that in just a bit. Now you can get the 40 amp hour lithium battery pack, which is gonna give you up to 29 miles, depending on the load. The total weight of this unit is going to be 183.4 pounds with the standard battery. If you upgrade, it's gonna be 197.8 pounds with the upgraded battery pack. Again, the seating standard is going to be 18 inches wide by 17 inches deep. The seat weighs about 35 pounds. If you get the 20 inch wide seat, it's going to weigh a little bit more. But the 20 inch wide seat is what I recommend. It's a little bit wider, feels a little bit more comfortable. If you're about six foot over 210 pounds like myself, to me, that feels more comfortable. Now it does have automatic brakes, but it also has a manual brake lever to help you slow down even faster than what the automatic brakes can do. With the automatic brakes, it takes about three seconds to come to a complete stop when you're at full speed. So if you need to slow down quicker, use that manual brake lever on the left-hand side. The throttle is on the right-hand side. It is kind of like a wigwag where you can just push forward or pull back to go forward. We'll show you that in a second, but it is something that you have to use your right hand to control. You can opt in to get the controls switched, but you will need your local dealer to do that for you. So if you are left-handed and you prefer the throttle on the left, contact your local dealer, call us. If you're local to us, we'll get that done for you. If you're wondering about the weight of the battery pack, the standard 20 amp hour battery pack weighs 20.8 pounds, whereas the 40 amp hour upgraded battery pack is gonna weigh 35.2 pounds. Comes with a four amp lithium battery charger, and we'll show you how that works. Now the warranty on the frame is a lifetime limited warranty. You get a two year limited warranty on the drivetrain and the electronics, and a three year limited warranty on the batteries. All right, so the color options, as you can see, we have this sage color option, which is like a, uh, kind of like a sea green color, really nice satin matte finish. And then you have the tan color, which is like a desert sand kind of color. Really, really nice color options. I'm super impressed with them. And as you can see, the rims on the tire, on the wheels match the color choice of the body. 
So it's just a really nice, sporty looking off-road mobility scooter. I love it. Again, one of my favorite choices. If you own one, this is brand new. Let's, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Tell us what you think about it. I'm sure other people would love to hear about it as well, especially from people that actually own it and use it every single day. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on and talk about some of the other features, show you how the controls work. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into how the control works. Start from the top, work our way down. So let's take a look here at the controls. We're gonna move on closer with the camera and show you, we can flip up the armrest, get in there. Now, the unit has a right-handed setup for the throttle. So if you pull back, it goes forward. If you push forward, it goes backwards and it's indicated right here with the sticker. So pulling back makes you go forward, pushing forward makes you go in reverse. Single-handed use, one finger. You have a nice Delta wraparound tiller, very ergonomic grip. And here is your manual brake cable uh, handle. So if you wanna slow down faster when going full speed, again, it takes about two to three seconds to slow down, like you see on the screen. Um, you will slow down a lot faster if you use the hand brake, as opposed to just relying on the automatic brake system. So let's see, let's talk about what's going on here on the dash. So I'm gonna tilt it forward a little bit more and look down here. What do you see? A USB charging port. So if you've got your charging cable for your cell phone, plug it in there. You're gonna get juice to your cell phone to charge your cell phone with the scooter batteries. You got your turn signals here. So you turn left. If you wanna turn on your left turn signal, press there, turn on the right one, turn there. And we'll show you a nice shot of what that looks like. You also have a horn button in the middle. It's really a buzzer, I shouldn't say horn. And then as we work our way up, you're gonna see the typical speed control knob with the tortoise and the hare. So if you wanna limit the top speed, you go all the way counterclockwise towards the tortoise. If you wanna increase that top speed, you go clockwise towards the hare. You have a hazard mode switch for the hazard lights, which we'll throw on the screen for just a second. And you've got the toggle between the middle, which is completely turning all the lights off, down for hazard, all the way up for the main headlights. You do have brake lights in the back and you have an eco mode and a sport mode. So if you wanna save battery, stay on eco mode. It's gonna limit the top speed. If you wanna go full send, full speed, keep it on race mode and have fun, but be safe, be careful everybody. These can tip over if you go full speed and take a turn really quickly. You don't wanna do that. Slow down when you're taking your turns. All right. So working our way down on the right hand side, we have the ignition. So you do get two keys. I recommend not keeping both keys on the same key ring, just in case you lose your keys, you have your spare in the drawer at home somewhere or have someone else hold on to the spare for you. So you just stick your key in the ignition, give it a slight turn clockwise. You're gonna see your battery meter kick in here at the top of the screen. You can see the battery is fully charged. As you start to use your scooter, the lights will turn off one at a time starting with the green and then eventually all the lights will turn off you want to start charging just like your gas meter on your car you don't want the needle to reach e you want to start charging when it's in the yellow or close to the red but not at the red if you wait for it to get to the red you're not going to get the longest life out of your batteries you get three years on the warranty but if you treat your batteries right and you charge them top it off regularly you're going to get closer to four or five years depending on where you're located keep them out of extreme heat make sure you break in your batteries when you first get them that means charging them regularly when you first get your batteries for about two weeks after that you don't have to charge them every single day but top them off when necessary. On the left side, you've got your charging port. So your charging port is a four pin XLR connector and we'll show you on the screen how to charge the unit. All right, so here's the charger. It's a four amp lithium charger. You do need to follow instructions upon the initial setup when you open the uh, box when you first get it. We do have an unboxing video, by the way, just click the link right there to watch the unboxing video or check the link in the description. So when you first get it, you want to make sure that you charge it by plugging this barrel connector into the battery box and then plugging the wall outlet cable into the wall. But now that this has already been broken in and activated, you can take this charging port and plug it right into the charging port up high right here. And once you plug it in, whether you plug it in up here or into the port on the battery box, this light is gonna turn red. That means it's charging. When it's fully charged, this light will turn green. 
and I'll show you where the charging port is on the battery now. All right, so coming back now, you know how to charge the unit. Let's talk about the front storage basket. You've got a nice little storage basket here. You've got two hooks. These two hooks will slide underneath each of these rails on the back of the basket. So taking the basket off, putting it back on is super easy. You just line up the rails with the hooks and either push down when you're putting it on or pick up when you're taking it off. It's that simple. All right, so we're gonna show you how to take the unit apart, which is one of the coolest features about this thing. For a 400 pound weight capacity scooter that's built for off-road, you can transport this thing in the trunk of the car pretty easily. So you take the front basket off, first step. Second step, take the seat off. There's really nothing to it. You can just fold the back down, pick up one hand in the front underneath, one hand in the back underneath, and pick straight up. Make sure you're not tilting in any direction or else it'll appear as if though the seat is stuck. If you pick straight up, it slides right out. By the way, while I'm here, we're gonna show you, you do have a one inch universal hitch receiver for accessories like a rear cage style basket for grocery shopping. You can get walker holders, cane holders, fishing pole holders, you name it. We have some videos of us using this thing to go fishing, grocery shopping, you name it. So when you're getting ready to transport this to take it in the trunk of your car. You don't need a expensive aluminum platform lift to go on the back of your vehicle. Simply start off with the basket, the seat, and then grab the battery case by the strap, pick straight up. Now there's the charging port that I was telling you about. You also have a fuse there. So you can charge the battery box while it's disconnected from the scooter. So if you live in a really hot state like we do in Florida, and you leave the scooter in the garage, you might want to bring the battery box inside so that it's not exposed to extreme heat during the summer. Lithium batteries, most batteries don't like extreme heat. So keep that in mind. Now, while we're here, before taking apart the base, the rear half with the motor from the front half, you want to go ahead and tilt the handlebar down all the way. Okay, and now you want to lock it. So when it's in the trunk of your car, this isn't going to swing around and get scratched or damage some of your belongings. So to do that, there's a little push spring-loaded um, rotation knob here. You wanna push in and then give it a little quarter of a turn clockwise. Now the handlebar assembly, AKA the tiller assembly is locked and it's not gonna swing around in the trunk of your car. At this point, we're almost done. What you wanna do next is with one hand, grab here, the other hand, grab this and pick, pick straight up and forward with both hands. Now you have five convenient pieces. Give, keep in mind the heaviest piece is around 70 pounds. So yes, you may need help. It's not gonna be super light to pick up the heaviest piece and put it in the trunk of your car, depending on your physical abilities. But if you have somebody helping you, then it, it's, for a 400 pound weight capacity, it's pretty darn impressive. There are lightweight models out there, which you can check out. We offer all of the different lightweight folding models by Pride and other respected, trusted name brands. Baja Mobility and Pride Mobility are the most trusted name brands in the industry. They include not only an industry leading warranty, but a one year in-home repair contract. So if you do have a warranty claim that gets approved, you don't even need to leave your house. A technician will be dispatched to your home to solve the problem, as long as it's a warranty approved claim. So let's go ahead and put it back together. And we are gonna throw on the screen and a little shot of what it's like to put it in the trunk of a car and you know take it apart, put it back together. But this is by far the most robust solution. If you need something that can hold up to 400 pounds, that's fast, and that's still gonna have that peace of mind you would get with any product made by Pride Mobility. All right, so we're gonna come in close with the camera to show you how to connect the front ends to the rear end, which is an important thing to really take note of. So you see the green stickers on this black bar that belongs to the frame. There's matching green stickers on the front part of the frame. It has two hooks. So you wanna line up this green sticker with that one, line that green sticker up with that one, and those U-shaped hooks just rest over the top of that black bar when the stickers are aligned. Get them lined up, and then literally just let go and it clicks right into place. That's that patented feather touch disassembly feature that all the disassembling models offer. Super easy to work with. So you've got the back half, reattach to the front half, lift up the tiller, drop your battery pack in, by the way, you do have an on and an off switch 
which all lithium battery packs have. So you wanna make sure that it's in the on position if you're not using it and it's gonna be stored for a few days, put it in the off position. You have a circuit breaker reset button here as well. So if you do get hung up or go off road too aggressive of an incline that it can't handle if it overheats itself, it's gonna pop the breaker before it burns out your motor or controller. So check to see if that little button feels like it's popped out push it back in if your unit's not turning on, especially if you're going off-road a lot. So the seat reconnects pretty easily. Just look at that male connector, guide it into the hole on the seat post, level out the seat, wiggle it. You know it's locked in when it's not rotating. There you go. Now we just need to put the basket back on and we're back in business. It's that simple. Now don't forget, when you put it back together, if you can't turn and it feels like something's wrong, it's because you need to unlock the tiller, the turning lock there, which you turn on when you're transporting it in the trunk of the car needs to be disengaged. Now I do wanna also remind you that it has automatic brakes and they need to be turned on or else the unit won't work. So if you turn it on and it's just not moving, but everything else seems normal, you can't figure out what's wrong, check your brake lever switch. Is if it's in the locked position, it should work fine. But if it's in the neutral position, AKA the unlocked position, when you go to turn the unit on, it's just not gonna work. So I could give it throttle and it's just not moving. Because this is a mobility scooter, it needs to have the automatic brake system turned on. So if you can push it around manually, you know the brake lever's in the neutral position, it's just not gonna work. Turn the power off, put it in the locked position, turn it back on, and it should work fine. The reason why these scooters have automatic brakes, well, if you run out of battery on a hill, you're not gonna end up in a ditch rolling down that hill uncontrollably. The automatic brakes are always engaged. They will only turn off temporarily while you're giving it throttle. That's the only time the brakes go off. So keep that in mind, folks. Now, something else I wanna show you is the powerful 600 watt motor. It's a 36 volt motor on the back there. That motor, is huge. You're not seeing in many mobility scooters with a 600 watt, 36 volt motor. I can tell you that much. All right, folks. Well, we're going to wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, if we missed anything, drop a comment in the comment section. We reply to every single comment. We will answer your questions or call our non-commissioned sales experts. They're not pushy. They are just here to answer your questions and to recommend the product that you're going to love for many, many years to come. Now, I did promise you that if you stayed tuned to the end of this video, we'd teach you how to enter our giveaway so that you could potentially win a Baja Raptor 2 four-wheel. And it's simple, folks. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment with hashtag Baja Raptor 2. That's it, and you'll be entered into the giveaway. So make sure you comment below, hashtag Baja Raptor 2. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, which hopefully you are, because you'll get notified when we release our next video which is gonna be amazing. We've got something extremely controversial in our next video. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So stay tuned. And last but not least, our flash sale giveaway. It's a secret coupon code. If you want the coupon code to save big on the purchase of this scooter, call our non-commissioned sales experts. Mention this video. They will give you a coupon code limited while supplies last so you could save a ton of money. You also get tax-free sales, free shipping, and five-star rated customer support, like always, folks. So until next time, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thank you again. Have a great day. Take it real soon.